visiting Imam al Hussein is an honor and a privilege bestowed upon angels and prophets of God. Don't think that, no, inshallah, whenever I want, I'll make a plan and I'll be there in Karbala. That's not the case. You have to be chosen. Your name has to be written. And the hadith says a few things about the visitors of Imam al Hussein. Tonight is the night of Aza. I want to start my Aza. One, is that when you enter the grave of Imam al Hussein at any given time, there are 70,000 angels. How they look, they're described by the Imam. Allah has created 70,000 angels specifically for the grave of Imam al Hussein. They look pale, in a state of mourning, sadness, sorrow. Crying, surrounding the grave of Imam al-Hussein, writing down the names of his za'areen. Not only that, praying, supplicating, doing istighfar. When you visit Imam al-Hussein, they write your name. When you leave, Allah gives the thawab of the angels to you, the za'ar of Imam al-Hussein. Take it. 70,000 angels praying, take it. Take their, take their thawab. Take it with you. This is how I honor Hussein. Number two, 4,000 angels. As soon as you become a za'ir of Imam al-Hussein, 4,000 angels will escort you to your home and they will never leave you. They will be with you until the moment you die. They will walk behind your janazah. And they will continue to do istighfar for you until the day of judgment. Number three. You are greeted by Fatima to Zahra. She receives you. Number four. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam is the one that gives salams to you. He's there. When you're there, Rasulullah starts. Before you even say salam, assalamu alaikum, Abu Abdullah, Rasulullah tells you, You are my beloved, you're here to visit Hussein, assalamu alaikum, peace be with you. And more importantly, more importantly than anything else, you go and you connect with your Imam. It's a, shine, it's a sign of love, brothers and sisters. If you have not yet gone to the visitation of Imam al Hussein, make sure you decide you're going to visit him as soon as possible. With a group, without a group, with difficulty or with ease, make it happen. And the hadith say every penny that you spend in going to visiting Imam al Hussein will be repaid. To you. And Allah says, the most important books of the Muslims say, Sunni and Shia. Allah blessed Hussein with a few things. One, Ja'alallahu shifa'a fi turbata. Allah has blessed the soil of Karbala that carries this grandson of Rasulullah, that shifa. Cure is in the soil of the grave of Imam al Hussein. Cure. I don't have time to give you stories. There are people in this gathering who have seen it firsthand what the soil of Imam al Hussein does to an ill person who is dying. It resurrects the dead. Number two. And next to the grave of Imam al Hussein, dua is mustajab. You go to him, you raise your hands in dua there, your dua is mustajab. One day a person was going towards Karbala, one of the companions of the Imams. He says, Why are you going there? He says, The Imam has hired me to go and pray for him there. So this man was confused. Why is the Imam hiring someone to go to Karbala to pray for the Imam? Isn't he an Imam? So he says to him, he said, Ya Imam, why did you have to hire someone and send him to Karbala? Why don't you just pray for yourself? 
He says, Alam ta'lam bi anna lillahi biqa'an yuhib an yud'a fiha fa yujib. Allah has special places that He has chosen. And he wants you to be there, to pray there, he would grant you your haja. The greatest of them is Karbala. And number three, And the imams, the nine imams, are from the progeny of Hussein, and the twelfth is from the progeny of Hussein. This is how Allah has honored him. 